in this session it's actually very beautiful problem okay of course like you know we got many mails for explanation of this okay and this is old gate question only so in this question such a big diagram they have given and like you know we have to analyze properly figure shows the extended view of two pole dc machine with 10 armature conductors normal brush positions are shown by a and b so normal brush positions are shown by a and b placed at the interpolar axis if the brushes are now shifted in the direction of rotation to a dash b dash as shown the voltage waveform of like you know a dash b dash will be okay now we have to understand one thing in this question did they give these are voltages or currents they did not give any information okay so we have to find ourselves whether these are voltages or currents because if you think of currents if it is it is it generator or motor we don't know okay so for example like you know if in generator my direction of current will be aligned with the induced voltage direction and in the motor direction of current will be against the direction of induced voltage so now in this like you know whether these are currents or voltages how to find okay so first of all direction of rotation they have given and the poles we know poles we know so so means in right hand roll Fleming's right hand roll flux we know direction of rotation motion of conductor we know so we'll be able to find out the induced voltage okay so for example yes pole flux will go in and the direction of rotation of conductor is in this direction so it is dot okay so if you see for example flux is going in this direction conductor is in this direction this is dot okay so for example if you think of under n pole of course same thing will come n pole flux will come like this okay and the motion of the conductor is in this direction so induced voltage should be cross induced voltage should be cross what does it mean means that my induced voltages here are crosses okay induced voltage here are crosses and induced voltages here are dots now is it motor or generator motor because induced voltage and direction of current are against if you get any problem go back to basic concepts of rotating machines automatically you will come to know so these are currents okay so these are currents and voltage is against to the direction of current means that it is a motor let's just fix it it is a motor okay now if you want to know still further for example in motor direction of torque developed and direction of rotation should be in the same direction or not yes for example this is currents no black are currents so cross here dot here cross here dot here so here n pole will come now for the armature okay n pole will come here cross here dot here flux will come out if you sit in the air gap flux will come out of the armature so flux is coming out of the armature means it is n pole okay so n pole s pole interaction will be there n pole n pole repulsion will be there so n pole s pole attraction is there in the sense it will be torque will be in this direction okay n pole is here s pole is here torque will be in this direction and direction of rotation also in the same so first point to be concluded here is it's a motor okay now in motor in motor what he has done he has shifted the brushes in the direction of rotation okay for example if you think of like an armature reaction okay in generator what was happening in generator mna was shifting in the direction of rotation of rotor or against to the direction of rotation of motor okay now here he shifted the brushes in the direction of rotation of motor means that against to the direction of rotation of generator means that magnetizing armature reaction effects are demagnetizing magnetizing will come anyway question is not about magnetizing but anyway in motor in motor what will happen in generator leading pole tips will be weakened trailing pole tips will be strengthened okay so in generator leading pole tips will be weak, will be weakened and trailing pole tips will be uh, strengthened now in motor it will be reverse means that leading pole tips will be strengthened trailing pole tips will be weakened for example if you see here if rotor is rotating in this direction this is the pole tip which i'm going to capture i'm about to capture means that this is leading pole tip and uh, this pole tip i'm about to leave behind so this is trailing pole tip okay so this is going to be leading pole tip this is going to be trailing pole tip okay so what do we know means in generator leading pole tips will be weakened and trailing pole tips will be strengthened but in motor leading pole tips will be strengthened and trailing pole tips will be weakened so here flux density will be more 
and here flux density is less here flux density is more here flux density is less now it is shifted in this direction a dash b dash is shifted in this direction means that if you think of flux density flux density is more here and less here okay so from here flux from here flux density is going to be more here less here so in the options like you know depending upon the flux density voltages will be there okay so more here less here more here less here okay so option a should be right okay now if you think of for example okay anyway for this question it is enough means you please uh, think like you know if it is generator if it is shifted in the direction of rotation what will happen against to the direction of rotation what will happen in the motor if it is shifted in the in the direction of rotation what will happen against to the direction of rotation what will happen you please analyze you please analyze okay it's actually simple question only simple question only but somehow like you know because of length of the question okay or maybe i think that's it because of length of question people are confused okay that's enough in this uh, questions like you know these are uh, OG old gate questions only a dc shunt generator actually in generator solving problems is easy and in motors it's difficult people feel okay in motors also actually uh, dc machine solving questions are very easy okay immediately after this very soon we are going to start dc motors also a dc shunt generator delivers 45 amperes at terminal voltage of 220 volts the armature and shunt field resistances they have given stray losses they have given percentage efficiency of dc generator now till now we did not discuss about stray losses okay so what are stray losses not required some losses they have given no because if stray losses can be calculated okay can be written in a form of equation we would have discussed so don't think of like you know what your stray losses and all not required okay some losses okay now <clears throat> see here shunt generator so shunt generator and here it is delivering 45 amperes here to a 220 volt supply and armature resistance they have given 0 0.01 ohm and this is going to 44 ohm okay so output they have given in order to calculate efficiency losses should be known such that output plus losses is going to be input okay so what are the losses input side for example electrical losses okay so brush contact losses did they give no forget about it okay now means armature resistance they have given so armature copper losses will be there shunt field losses will be there okay now how much is the shunt field current for example 220 divided by 44 is going to be 5 amperes right now 45 plus 5 is going to be actually this is kcl network problem dc machine kind of like you know simple 45 plus 5 is going to 50 amperes okay now what are going to be losses losses are going to be 50 square 0 0.01 ia square ra 50 square into 0 0.01 plus shunt field losses voltage multiplied by current or you can think of 5 square into 44 is also fine i square r is also fine but in a voltage you know current you know 220 into 50 220 volts into 5 amperes plus what are the other losses did they give armature core loss no so everything they might have included in 375 so you add 375 is going to be total losses so efficiency equal to output by output plus losses is going to be output is how much 220 into 45 220 into 45 divided by 220 into 45 plus keep these losses here problem solved okay Efficiency 86.84 percent. We got over. Now let us take some other question. A separately excited DC generator supplies 150 amperes to 145 volts grid. Actually, uh, in DC grid will not be there. Okay. Actually, DC system was a failed system. Was a failed system. Okay. Anyway, about that, like you know, maybe once we, we will discuss about it. But anyway, they have given just a problem and we are solving a problem. Okay. AC machine everywhere you will see. Your ceiling fan is AC machine. Okay. So your, your water pump is AC machine. Everywhere it will be AC only. DC is going to be very rare to find. 
okay so the moment they said grid don't think of where is that grid and all not required they have given a problem we are going to solve and this is going to be 145 volts grid is generator is running at 800 rpm r a equal to 0.1 if the speed of the generator is increased blah 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 so for example this is generator sorry it's not ac it's dc okay and here armature resistance is there how much is armature resistance 0.1 ohm okay and how much is the current 150 amperes okay so how much will be eg generated voltage is going to be 145 plus 150 into 0.1 0.1 is going to 145 plus 15 is going to be 150 160 volts okay so eg is going to be 160 volts if it is rotated at 800 rpm now what happened they increase the speed to 1000 rpm so e is directly proportional to n pi over now about the flux did they give any information no forget about it constant so if speed is increased automatically internally induced voltage should be increased so in the second case e2 should be increased how much it should be increased thousand by 800 because directly proportional speed okay so if you want to calculate 160 into or divided by 0 0.8 200 volts okay now in the new case new case this became 200 volts okay so this became 200 volts okay so this became 200 volts and armature resistance is going to be same grid voltage cannot be changed now how much is this current i2 is going to be i'm sorry dear i2 is going to be 200 minus 150 200 minus 145 divided by 0.1 is going to 55 divided by 0 0.1 550 amperes will come problem solved